ke panch EV ke kali electric ke barang spin ni da ke Tata Motors ke bapa ka bahabanya aki nong ba kum joru sha ki nong kendong na maru battery UI hado sound pa ar ku wei kilometa ta da piku ban test drive ya ke ke kali electric ki la ban wan ke showroom jang ke Frank Motors ke bahapo lat kor ba tha mau lai mau yo Tata Tata TV Ketua Jaya Marang Jong Kejala ke Revenue and Disaster Management Department kala ether menta ke si Pat ki Deputy Commissioner Jongi District Banthaulat Kumno Banyada Pat Banyarapi ki Brio haba ki kansan ki Board Jong Kamareng Kum Kel Eryong Upriya Uslap Bad ki Wei ki Wei. U Commissioner Secretary Ketua Revenue and Disaster Management Department U Sanjay Goyal U Long Ba Namar ke Jingwan Jong ka Ayom Per M ka Ba Wanra e ke Er Lang Thari Upriya Pat ki Wei ki Wei ki Board Kamareng Laiter Kumno Banyaya Jingya Da Bad Kumjo ke Jingya Rap ya ki Pai Ba ki Ba ya Kendo. Katkom kejeng itu jong u goyal ka sorkar kalamang arpau klor tingka sagi deputy commissioner ban ai ya kejeng rap ki bakerki sagi tu ki bala syakta ha ke eriong ernit ula itu baknang ban tip kumno ban nyada nagi bo jong ka maryang lai ther bat ki trat ba per per kum ka phi health education imd sdrs civil defense bat ki wei ki wei la bencha nagi deputy commissioner Bandre ya kebdon kam habdon kenu kenu ke jing sha thir ha ke bo jong kamaryang ban prinsok bad ban prinsat ya ka jing mere habdon kenu kenu ke jing cha na ki bo jong kamaryang labu ya ke control room ka ban tri kam baro arpu sao kenta u goyal u long ru bala community ba ka er yong kit slap ka bajur kan dang beteng hadu u banai jel liu u ban wan this state level coordination committee meeting which is in connection with the preparedness for the monsoon as all of us are aware the, the normal date for uh, setting up the monsoon in the state is uh, the first week of june and uh, uh, in today's meeting we had the state level uh, uh, departments uh, the important department meaning medical roads phe uh, our sdrf for the civil defense uh, imd and uh, education and uh, we were connected with all the deputy commissioners uh, who are also in charge of the relief operations in the districts so main uh, point of discussions and uh, the uh, directions were like uh, how well we are prepared in terms of uh, uh, the emergency response activities uh, all the deputy commissioners uh, uh, are holding the level, the district level uh, coordination committee meetings uh, wherein uh, they will again uh, set up uh, the uh, the coordination uh, uh, workflow for any kind of eventuality or disaster they have been directed to do the vulnerability uh, assessment which uh, anyways they are doing it uh, we have just emphasized upon it so that uh, we uh, go by the uh, experience of the past and uh, take appropriate action uh, the district level disaster management plans uh, have been updated by the deputy commissioners the resource mapping what kind of resources are available in terms of equipment in terms of machineries uh, at various locations and uh, and uh, whether we are uh, updated on that or not uh, the list of nodal officers uh, as we are aware that uh, due to elections uh, certain changes have happened uh, at various level in terms of transfers of the officers so they have been uh, uh, asked to update the list of nodal departments uh, along with their updated mobile numbers so that uh, the smooth flow of uh, information uh, uh, at all levels uh, uh, the incident response system uh, uh, have always been uh, uh, activated during this time in to, to handle any kind of uh, emergencies and all the communication networks uh, uh, we have been uh, we have asked them to uh, to update their uh, the plans uh, to identify the the areas which are not having communications and uh, maybe take help of the npro to 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 ensure that uh, the the channel of communication is always active uh, control rooms the deputy commissioners have set uh, apart from the uh, control room the state level control room we have and uh, uh, they have been direct, directed to activate it uh, 24 by 7 uh, at least till the time the the monsoons are there uh, maybe till the month of uh, september and october so these were the points uh, uh, we are well prepared in terms of uh, uh, the the uh, upcoming uh, monsoon season and uh, as far as relief operations are concerned uh, there has always been a practice that uh, uh, we place the uh, funds with in advance with the deputy commissioners to handle uh, any kind of eventuality this year also we have done the same uh, almost around uh, 
20 crores of rupees has been uh, placed with uh, the deputy commissioners to handle uh, uh, any kind of eventuality and I would like to uh, uh, highlight one more thing that as uh, uh, reviewed by the Honorable Chief Minister at the state level uh, disaster management authority level meeting we have observed that uh, there were certain bottlenecks in terms of uh, release of the funds to the uh, beneficiaries at a shortest possible time and uh, uh, that has not been now been taken care of in terms of delegation of certain powers to the deputy commissioners and uh, I am very happy to, to inform you that in the last uh, one or two events uh, which uh, uh, wherein the cyclonic uh, damage uh, has been done, we were in a position to transfer the money into the accounts of the beneficiaries uh, within uh, 24 to 48 hours uh, which is a, which is a uh, which is a great relief to the public uh, and uh, we have uh, been taking care of uh, their immediate requirement in terms of the uh, repairing of the houses and other uh, relief aspects uh, which are as per the norms from the uh, government of India. Uh, we, uh, we had the officers of the IMD also. These pre-monsoons uh, uh, rains are quite common in uh, this part of the country and uh, as per their assessment uh, this is likely to happen uh, uh, for next uh, one week or so. There might be some gaps in between and the monsoon uh, as uh, per them is all set uh, to be on time uh, somewhere in the first week of uh, June. Uh, as per the current assessment, the monsoon uh, is expected to be normal and above normal. So uh, we can expect uh, uh, sufficient rainfall uh, this uh, rainy season. And uh, the damage which you are uh, talking about, those were uh, uh, more of the category of the disturbances in terms of cyclonic uh, disturbances and all. Uh, if you talk about uh, this uh, year, uh, uh, I have some rough figures. We have uh, roughly around uh, 2,800 uh, households uh, which have got impacted in terms of either partially damaged to their uh, uh, houses or uh, uh, fully damaged. Uh, which, uh, and this is what I was uh, mentioning about that we are trying to release this uh, immediate relief uh, within uh, 48 hours to the beneficiaries and most of the deputy commissioners have given us the information that uh, uh, the, the relief have been uh, given uh, through the DBT note into their account apart from immediate requirements of distribution of the CGI sheets to them. See, this meeting was specific towards the national calamities because uh, this is what uh, uh, we are uh, anticipating, uh, whether it may be in terms of some fl flash floods or in terms of cyclonic uh, uh, activities, in terms of high rainfall in some certain areas, in terms of uh, landslides in certain areas, or in terms of uh, uh, falling of the trees which are resultant of incessant weathers and rainfalls and all. We have covered all those aspects. Uh, Man-made uh, <coughs> disasters are, is a slightly bigger topic and uh, it, uh, it needs to be linked to the vagaries of uh, the, the weather which ultimately lead to disaster. But we overall we have discussed it and uh, uh, whether it is a natural uh, uh, cause or a cause which is uh, wherein the human beings are also part of uh, that cause. Whatever it may be, what we are dealing with uh, as 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 uh, one uh, entity, and uh, we are planning to to have our preparations done accordingly. All of them, I'll say, uh, we are slightly doing uh, uh, more detailed uh, analysis uh, of the most uh, more urbanized or populated area like Shillong. So the hazard mapping uh, or the risk mapping of the Shillong, uh, we are doing it slightly more in a detailed manner, only because of the reason that we have high density of population. And uh, if any such uh, eventuality happen, the, the, the population affected is, is big in number uh, as compared to the other places which are sparsely populated.